What's up guys, welcome back to Jungle back to another video and in today's video we are still here at Blake's Garage because we are getting some more things done with the E36 M3. We are finally at the point to where uh, we could pretty much just start installing the transmission. We pretty much already installed the, uh, the brake pedal assembly. Uh, we got all the automatic stuff out of the car. Uh, we removed the chip out of the computer, the automatic transmission so this car won't drive all wonky. So at this point guys, it's pretty much installing the new transmission um, and all the other components as well that we end up getting. So the upgraded, uh, like the, the D SSR piece that goes in between the linkage piece and then the new shifter. So we're doing everything in this video. This is probably the most exciting video that we are doing for this uh, manual swap right now because it literally should be driving by the end of this video, hopefully. We also did have to do a little bit of a pit stop. We had to get a few extra bolts, which I'm actually going to be doing like a full breakdown of how much this build actually costs to do the manual swap because uh, it's a lot more than I anticipated and I think that a lot of you guys who are going to get into this, I just want to put it out there. So don't go buy an automatic and think it's going to be like a super cheap transformation, especially if you're going to be doing all the maintenance like I am. It just adds up real quick um, but yeah guys we got all the brake fluids right here we got new transmission fluids right there um, shout out to Blake he's got all these parts referenced and uh, we got to order all these parts literally next day that's Blake right now coming out so again yeah shout out to my guy what's up guys <laughs> um, yeah, and Igor that's yeah shout out to Igor for getting us those last second parts like he really came through so if it wasn't for that. him bro we'll be literally like this car would be here for like a month yeah we'd be waiting on mail order stuff so <laughs> that stuff came in from Wolfpack super quick and uh, now we got all the little bits and we should be able to just start bolting stuff together. Right on, dude. So like I said, guys, we have a brand new uh, flex disc right here or joint or whatever the heck this is. It's brand new. Again, it's a maintenance thing. Might as well get it done. Uh, this part also, it's a brand new piece. I know it's just sitting out here, so it's getting a lot of uh, uh, water stains and whatnot. But I believe this is called a DSSR shifter. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah. This little bad boy is going to hopefully help our, uh, what's it called, shifting, uh, you know, become A1. Yeah, be super precise so there's no play in there. This billet piece basically like cleans all that stuff up. When uh, you run the regular stuff, it has like all these bushings and all that stuff. And this is just going to be like super so, mechanical. Bro, I'm so it's excited for this. Exciting. <laughs> I'm so hyped. So yeah, guys, without further ado, I think, bro, I think the first thing we're actually going to do is honestly install the thing, right? Like, I mean, uh, like. We're going to pull off the old flex plate. Oh, yeah, automatic. we're going to do the clutch and all, and all that stuff. Okay. The, um, the rear main seal. Then we're gonna go ahead and throw on the new flywheel, the throw out, or not throw out bearing, pilot bearing, uh, bolt on the clutch and bleed the clutch system. And then we can kind of pop it all on there. And then it's just bolting stuff up. And then I'll be probably messing with the uh, shifter assembly stuff. On the top, here. cool, cool. Um, which honestly should be fairly straightforward. It should be pretty easy. This is, I think, never done this particular <laughs> shifter before. Yeah. But I think this is gonna be easier than even doing a stock shifter, which is cool. Okay, cool, cool. We'll let you guys know obviously how it goes as well. But uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get down there and just add all the necessary stuff and remove the necessary stuff off the engine. And uh, let's get to it. So here is the fly. We're gonna be installing this first. We're also gonna to have to clean it off as well, but we're gonna get it on there first, then clean it off, because apparently with uh, clutches, you can't get any dirt or anything that's wet onto it. Apparently it messes that up. I know nothing about this stuff. Blake no is oil. teaching me something no every day. Oil. No oil. Keep no. it clean, keep it clean. <laughs> I mean, it sounds like a, it sounds like a good idea anyways. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do that. We also had to get all these bolts. I'm gonna have the part number right here. So again, this didn't come with the flywheel, but you're gonna need it um, if you're doing a manual swap. If you guys already have a manual, I mean, this should already come with bolts. Um, I don't- supposed to replace them. Oh, the one time use type of things? Yeah, so I don't know why they didn't come with it. But okay, <laughs> you guys need it anywho. I got this from FCP, your guys, lifetime warranty. Same with the clutch and everything over here. So again, if you guys wanna get these, the link's gonna be down below. These are from FCP Euro. As for these bolts, we got them from my boy at, uh, well, Blake's boy at California Tuned. Uh, but I mean, I don't know where else. You can just order these from SPR also. From yeah, you can get these from SPR as well. So let's go ahead and just get this thing to Blake real quick. Ugh. Oh, buddy, this thing is heavy, man. This thing yeah. feels at least like 45 pounder. Oh, buddy. Just kind of marked it real quick with some yellow marking, if you see that on there. You yeah. kind of see this on factory cars. Uh, just a quick way to remind yourself of that you did torque it. 
and that way you don't retorque it and that way you don't forget one. Cool, cool, cool stuff. At this point guys we do have the the clutch plate on there all the bolts were tightened down 25 newton no 25 foot pounds right yeah 25 foot pounds uh and yeah at this point we are oh we do have that center thing yep there you go and at this point guys we're going to be putting in the transmission we've been waiting so long to do this it's about time guys Blake is tightening up the last couple of bolts on this thing and uh, let's just say the starter is probably like putting the transmission was the easiest thing which we thought we we're gonna have a problem with that starter literally lining up the two bolts on the top of the transmission to the starter I don't know bro it took us like an hour and a half dude dude it was like it's a dowel pin that goes into the starter <laughs> <laughs> but bro, we needed was... to loosen that shit up. So like, we tried putting a drill bit in there and everything, and then like, finally it slipped in. But oh my god, guys, like we're literally exhausted at this. But like, our arms are like feeling like noodles. I had to so... do this like pull up, like trying to push it. Like, <laughs> I was using a piece of metal as a as a pillow. Felt pretty good. Felt pretty good. But yeah, guys, at this point, uh, I think it's pretty much ready. Uh, we're gonna be doing the fluids pretty soon. But the yeah. main things, honestly, bro, uh, we can just go ahead and connect that to the the new shifter so we don't actually so much put the drive shaft and everything it'll be super easy um but right. yeah, after we do that probably do the drive shaft pop it on the exhaust but other than that i mean bro like we're getting there yeah let's we're put the there. shifter in right now so yeah. i want to show you guys how easy this is so <laughs> with this dssr you pull this clip you do this pull this out right oh my god we talk about easy and not as hard i mean you got the plot all the way okay but yeah so, like right there anyways you could kind of like half-ass leave it like that clips right here i'm gonna go up top real quick and, and i'll oh yeah, show you guys sure. that so sorry about the uh slight strobeness from this led it just kind of produces a slight bit of strobe but you can see these default or these factory little holes right here one two and three and then you see this kinematic speed shifter we got one two and three bolts so we're gonna go ahead and loosen those so like blake was saying guys we just need to get these three holes on the shifter to stick out once they actually showing up we put on three nuts super easy and then this guy literally just attaches just like that to it super easy stuff i'll get back to y'all when we actually you see right there he's lining that one up um so there is a little bit of fabrication work that needs to be done but nothing too crazy i mean not really fab but just a couple drill points so we have that self-centering punch if you guys remember that from the other day there is a hole back here there are two holes right here. The front holes, unfortunately, do not line up with this. It'd be pretty cool if they did, but they don't. And that's kind of because it would uh, it would interfere with this little console area. So what we want to do is pop this thing in here somehow, kind of like that. Get everything out of the way. We want to line up this back bolt hole with the uh, original bolt hole. And then we'll get underneath the car and kind of make sure this is all aligned. We want to get this centered up on the hole down below. So I'll have Nora go down there. And uh, then we're going to use the self-centering punch to mark the holes. We'll center punch those and then we'll use a quarter drill bit to drill through. And then we can put the bolts in. So yeah, if you guys look at it, it's not centered. If I go ahead and pull it right over, let's say right over here that looks a lot more centered i'm gonna go ahead and just double check and then blake's gonna go ahead and center punch those three days later guys this is actually the next day and uh, as you guys can see we have the exhaust in there we have the drive shaft in there every other everything else is connected including the cats as well and even blake connected the headers we're good to go in there so honestly guys everything should be connected we're starting to work on some of the things up top um this trim piece we actually got from pickle pull and blake actually trimmed it to fit the door lock button so that's pretty awesome and uh, we're gonna start working on all this hopefully in the near future should possibly even later in this video but as for now uh i think the moment of truth is does it start bro and does it run <laughs> oh buddy i think you should honestly because you know how the feel of the clutch is supposed to be okay. so uh, i'll let you do that I'll, I'll i'll sit out here i'll enjoy it you know Ooh. all right guys <laughs> moment of truth moment of truth oh bro, that shifter looks neutral. so good dude clutch pedal feels good okay Wait a minute. okay okay all right so what we want to look at is these back wheels so we're gonna put it in gear Okay, First it's gear. rolling. Second gear. Sounds good. Third gear. Third gear. Fourth gear. Fourth gear. Fifth gear. Yes, sir. And then we put on the brake. It doesn't seem to be going anywhere. 
<laughs> Hold on, put it in reverse real quick. Oh, yeah. Yes, bro, the reverse lights work. What? <laughs> they work, dude. Hey, <laughs> bro, what? So the You're the on. man. Yeah, it looks so like it has to be on. I wired it up. Yeah, I wired up the switch to the transmission. I was like, I didn't want to turn the car off on because it didn't have exhaust on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. It would be been too loud. loud. And honestly, it stank nasty. That was almost the worst part. Uh, so yeah, that is freaking sick. <laughs> um, the one thing bro. I can still wire in is the clutch pedal, like the start stop. You want that in? Okay, honestly, let's just try to make it as OEM as possible. So let's just go ahead and just get that thing wired in, and we'll possibly actually start reassembling all this stuff. Uh, but the rest of the car, we'll have to hold off on that. It looks like Blake is just too excited. He also I'm, wants to install the new excited. boot. Uh, the boot we actually got it from Race German. It's a, re it's like an authentic, real nice leather yeah, boot. Yeah, makes these real nice uh, leather ones. So like, if you guys have pulled any out of pick and pull, they are nasty. There's not a single one. You have to get them They're, new. Like these cars are too old. Bro. Like you have to get them new. So again, we got a brand new shifter, and I just feel like we have to get an OEM. Boot boots are not OEM but like a really 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 nice leather boot this is from race German guys again the shifters from kinetic German um, but I actually got that from race German as well, well so kinetic, kinetic speed oh right? kinetic speed yes yes and okay this, and then well push. that fit bro I'm actually like really so curious what I gotta do I think is just like trim the little uh, threads right here I should be able to just slide this over okay actually it yeah, looks like I no thought, trimming needed <laughs> dude, I thought I was gonna need to trim it yeah, yes that doesn't look like uh, oh. Bro, that looks too good. Like too good, dude. It's gonna need to happen. So look at that. This entire time that I was working down there, Blake just really wanted to perfect this situation right here. He already got this button drilled out, and installed. Uh, he was working on the shifter, trying to just dial it in, and now the shift. Bro, this looks too good. I like to like make it. <laughs> it's good. it's a track car, but at the same time, it needs to look beautiful. Well, yeah, I want to take the time to like do it right if possible, you know? Because I know Ooh. sometimes a lot of people. Don't take the time to do things right, and it just works, and that, that is what it is, right? So, oh man, dude. Bro, that looks too good, dude. I am excited. So, yeah, we have so many new parts. It got from pick -up a bunch of runs. Um, I'll show you guys all that hopefully when we get home. But uh, in the meantime, oh, that is way better, dude. Yeah. Okay, in the meantime, this is just, this, it's ugly, dude. This is sick. Look at this. Look at like, that's probably someone's vomit. Bro, I've honestly know. seen worse at pickup. Like, I, on, today, all day, dude, I picked out like four of these. Yeah. They're all worse. Like, so it's gross. just so gross. All right, guys, Blake is taking it out for the first spin. Bro, if anything happens to you, I'm sorry, but we worked on this together. We, we and together, uh, so that's, I'm, like, I'm not liable. My driveway, my house, my cars are out front. So, like, yes. if something messes up, I want to hit it. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. So, uh, yeah, make sure you turn on your lights, my G. Ooh. And uh, is that a check engine light? Oh, check control. Yeah, uh, this is the check engine because it, it's the uh, automatic. Ah. So we can scan codes for it, but yeah, it's gonna do that until you get it uh, retuned. Okay. Anyhow, this guy's moment of truth. Blake's about to pull out. Hopefully, this thing can roll on its own power and uh, come back in one piece. Fingers crossed, guys. I'm really hoping this thing has just been a huge project, and I have so much goals for this thing, and I hope everything is gravy in the navy. You're good, bro. I moved. <laughs> We're good. Okay, let's roll them back, guys. Mind you, this transmission had no transmission fluids when we got it, so I'm really worried there's something wrong with the transmission, so wish us luck, guys. Blake will actually know if there's anything wrong with it. Hey, guys, I'm sorry that it's so dark, but, uh, okay, it's in first. Nope. Okay, well, it went. It went. It is cold, Blake. Okay, went in second gear. I saw that. Okay, but it's acting really weird. Now the thing is, now that it's actually a manual swap, it still needs to be properly uh, like reflashed or something. So the ECU thinks it's an automatic, so it still should be shifting kind of like an automatic, um, even though we're doing the shifting ourselves. So we do need to send out that ECU, get it reflashed, put it right back in the car. But yeah, guys, this is just one huge, huge, huge step towards a bigger project that, I've, so, that I have planned for this channel. And it should be absolutely insane. So wish us luck, guys. I plan on doing a full wrap for this thing. It looks like Blake is a little bit worried to take it on main road. So he's actually coming back right now. Hopefully everything's gravy in the Navy. Oh, he's actually ripping it. Okay. Awesome. Bro, so it looked like when you were taken off that you were like either worried about something or like it wasn't shifting. Was I went into I went into fourth gear. Oh, okay. In I slow speeds. It. I missed shifted. Oh, okay. I see. But it's good. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Be safe. The car is registered and insured, so you're safe. <laughs> All right, bro. Good luck. It's what? I just want to make sure that everything's cool before you like take off. Okay. Appreciate it, bro. Oh, he's flying. Relax, bro. This that thing is so cold right now. Guys, he is pulling back up after a kind of a longer drive. Hopefully everything is good, guys. I should be taking this thing home. This is super scary, but at the same time, it looks so far so good. How are we looking, bro? All good, man. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I was so stressed. Um, you're just gonna have to get used to the shifter. You just kind of for second gear, you just have to make sure from first 
the second you push to the left. That's First the second push to the left. Okay. And then for third, it automatically the straight goes to third. Okay. And then fourth is easy. Put it in reverse real quick. That's reverse. Okay. Yeah, no, it didn't. Cool, cool. Good morning, guys. This is the next morning, and I've been <laughs> I've been taking this thing out for a spin. This thing is just so much fun to get clutch fours and then uh, clutch. Yeah. This thing just feels so, so, so good, guys. I'm definitely gonna have to be putting in a, uh, what's it called, a GoPro and actually doing some more POV videos. Uh, but this thing feels crazy. We do have a check engine light because of the manual swap. Uh, once we get this ECU reflash, the check engine light should go away. But oh my God, guys, this looking so good. And even this boot from Race German just looks so good. Oh man, I'm starting to love this car more and more, guys. This interior, guys, needs a lot of work. I mean, pretty much we started getting all this stuff. The e-brake no longer works after doing the manual swap. I think we pressed this button too many times that it literally just broke so uh yeah we need a new e-brake i already have a new e-brake i got a bunch of parts from pick and pull as you guys can see new glove box um a bunch of other things over here new cup holder um again so many new things for this car for the interior that hopefully should be uh, fixing all of this ugliness and yeah so we got this new trim piece that's not really fitting 100 percent just yet i'm um, i am going to be trying to work on that making that fit 100 percent, and then putting in all the screws we also uh, ended up cutting this to make this work and it works i mean this is like a temporary uh trim piece and it's definitely better than what it was before before. But let's just go ahead and address the elephant in the room guys. This is the kinematic shifter This thing I've been wanting once for so long guys These shifters are so 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 nice and Blake already adjusted it to the point to where when I actually shift it feels like look Okay, so when I put it in third for example, look how much play oh, actually is that in third. I don't even know I don't even know what gear man. Hold on. Hold on. This is neutral. I'm probably really bad at explaining this stuff guys, but it feels so good like i feel like i'm a ninja this thing just feels amazing here's reverse right there the craziest thing about this guys is the fact that not only is there a kinematic shifter in this car but it's the fact that it's a manual we have a clutch pedal a third pedal in this car guys we still got a bunch of things to rework blake did all the wiring for the lights and everything so we have everything working the way it's supposed to be so we actually put this thing in reverse we got it wired up to the transmission that it puts it in reverse um we got it to where if you put your foot on the the, the what's it called the clutch pedal this thing will start we had two options we could have done it without that or with that i decided i wanted it with the clutch pedal so uh, when i start up the car it doesn't automatically stall because i can barely tell sometimes if this is in first like right now this is in third gear that's neutral so if i get in the car i might not be able to tell because you can even still kind of play it around in in second gear and this is neutral so especially considering that my e-brake doesn't work it needs to be in gear and if i start it up when it's in gear we will stall out so long story short yeah we got that wired in as well we got such a big mess here guys i'm telling you guys we have so many new parts in here we got some new speaker grills new bulbs uh new trim pieces for the back because as you guys can see my trim piece is completely destroyed i got a brand new one right here super nice e-brake and i have another bag back there full of goodies i even got a new piece for this to replace this with a black one so it matches with the dash i think it'd be so much cleaner so yeah i think this thing is coming together let me know what you guys think i'm sorry that i had to pretty much do the manual swap in like three different episodes that's because it took us an entire week to do this manual swap this car was at blake's house again shout out to blake his channel's gonna be linked down below he's been helping me work on this for over a week now and I know he's also a youtuber so I took from the time of him making his own video So I really can't thank him enough for that And he actually supplied me with the transmission and the drive shaft because we need a new transmission and a new drive shaft to make this work So again, shout out to Blake my guy You guys are definitely gonna be seeing him more because we're gonna be hitting the track with this car once everything's dialed in We definitely need some new tires before I actually hit the track because these tires are like it's really in really bad shape They're dry rotted. So yeah, but yeah guys Hopefully in the next video we should be getting the 335 IS to start binding that back together And then uh, hopefully the next video of this car gonna be trying to rip out the carpets i'm over these carpets completely i want to take out these carpets and i actually want to take all this out clean it up properly and reassemble this whole section in the center after removing the carpets i think it's gonna look so much better in my opinion and i hope it does i mean i'm really excited for this so that hopefully should be the episode after getting the 335 is back i want to get it back from the shop we have so much things to do today but hopefully it should come back with the frame pulled back up brand new painted hood brand new painted fender and brand new painted bumper if you guys are excited for the videos make sure to smash that like button if you guys want to cop some merch remember we have a pre-black friday deal deal 50% off absolutely everything I'm not actually having a Black Friday sale so this pre Black Friday deal is the biggest deal I've ever had on my store so if you guys want to support the channel support myself and also copy guys some merch for 50% off make sure to check out that link down below and again use that code <laughs> for the new guys I'm gonna go ahead and just start driving this around and just having some fun this is one of those builds I'm just having such a good time on and I know it, it is an older style building I prefer the newer cars and stuff like that from what I can see in the, the comments and the views and everything but this is something that I'm truly enjoying and I'm just passionate about I cannot wait to start hitting the track with Blake and uh, I really think this is the right time. I mean, more. I mean, there's never a right time, but I, I finally think that I really want to get into it. But without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.